Hello viewers, in this video we are going to solve this exponential equation 3 to the power of 2x minus 30 times 3 to the power of x plus 81 equal to 0. Exponential equations like this must be reduced to quadratic equation before we have something. So let's get into it right away. So if I have 3 to the power of 2x minus 30 times 3 to the power of x plus 81 equal to 0. This first term here, I can write it as 3 to the power of x, then to the power of 2, then minus 30 times 3 to the power of x plus 81 equal to 0. I have 3 to the power of x here, I also have it here, so let's replace it with something. Let b be 3 to the power of x so that the equation becomes p square minus 30 times p plus 81 equal to 0. Now we've successfully reduced the equation to a quadratic equation. My approach of solving a quadratic equation is to first multiply the first term by the constant term p squared times 81 which gives me 81 p squared. And I look for two factors of 81 p squared that can add up to this middle term which is negative 30 p. But when I multiply the factors I should have 81 p squared. Factors of 81 that add up to 30 are 3 and 21 and 27 rather. 3 and 27 but since i'm talking about 81 p squared so it has to be 3 p and 27 p and then how do we add 3 p and 27 p to have negative 30 p that means both of them have to be negative negative 3 p and negative 27 p when added we give us negative 30 p so once we get the factors we can replace this middle term with the factor so that our equation becomes p squared minus 3p minus 27p plus 81 equal to 0. Can group it p squared minus 3p and 27p minus 81 equal to 0. Here we have plus, but I change it to minus because I introduce bracket. Because when I reduce this, when I remove rather, this bracket minus times minus should give me the plus that is what I did now here this is supposed to be 27 right here forget to put the 7 here on the first bracket I have p to be the common factor so from factor p out I have p into p minus 3 and minus 27 is common there since 27 can divide into 81 27 into p minus 3 equal to 0. So we have a common factor p minus 3, so pick one and then group this term and this term together p minus 27 equal to 0. It's either p minus 3 is equal to 0 or p minus 27 is equal to 0. That means p is equal to 3 or be equal to 27 but from uh, the beginning we replace p uh, with something which is 3 to the power of x I will know the value of p so when p is equal to 3 that means we have 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 and the power of 3 here is 1 so S therefore is 1. That is exponential when the bases are the same, we equate the powers. Okay? Again, when P is 27, that means 3 to the power of S is equal to 27. And 3 to the power of S is 27 can be expressed in index 1, which is 3 to the power of 3. And S is equal to 3. Therefore, our final solution is S equal to 1 or 3. And that brings me to the end of this question. I hope you found it useful. If you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 
turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when I release a new video. Thank you for your time.